make of efforts. And partly, much, can you, can you ask? Hello. Okay. Oh, Jungi. Okay, I can hear you, but not uh, just a little. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, but not uh, clear. Can you not clear? Not clear. Yeah, but it's a way, it's way. Okay, I, I, I uh, cannot clearly hear actually from your side as well. Really? really? I don't know. What about, what about now? We can hear some noise here. What about now? Mm, not big are still 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 unmade. Okay, hold on. Uh, at least a little more. Now. What about now? Oh, okay, for now. Better? Okay. Yeah, yeah. A, a little bit better, but it's still quite a uh, lot of noise. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Actually, I, 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 I'm, I'm in trouble, I guess so. I mean, oh. I'm not connecting from my office. I'm off today due to my family matter. So the, it seems that the connection is quite poor. We are trying to do some shooting here. Uh, are, are you trying to use the moment here? Okay. We can hear you clear. That's oh, you it. can. Yeah. Okay. So, I, I, okay. Then can I start now? Uh, uh please wait a minute. Uh, there should be no issue uh, in the room. Uh, but we we just hear some some noise here uh, from uh. Ah, uh, Joey, yeah. I, I'm very sorry. I cannot clearly understand what you're saying. I mean, what? Uh, I, I think. Uh, I, I, at least uh, you need to tell people, uh, resolve your questions. I mean, uh, maybe send uh, them yeah, to me. Yeah, that's not, I can hear you today. Oh, maybe the time. Uh, okay, but okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not uh, hearing uh, clearly from you. So I okay, ask you good. to send, uh, oh. tell people that I uh, send the mm -hmm. questions to my email, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, uh, I'll start. Uh, I'll start, okay. Okay, uh, please, please go Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay. Uh, Namaskar. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's very nice to meet you again. And it is also my great honor to be here, even though it is a uh, connection via Zoom. Uh, my name is Patch Lee and works for TenCC, which manages the Asia Connect project. I'm actually here to present you with the title, uh, the Asia Connect updates. Uh, originally, I was supposed to be only talking about, uh, about the Tain network. However, after I gave a uh, uh, presentation on the Asia Connect uh, Governors meeting the other day, on Monday actually, I thought uh, uh, to myself, why not give uh, the same up and give you the same opportunity uh, to hear about uh, the presentation and uh, made you understand better of the project. One positive feedback I can think of from that is uh, you might come to uh, me later asking how I can apply to the calls to get awarded a uh, project. I guess it's quite a beautiful scene I can think of. Uh, I'm, I mean, along with raising awareness, okay? Uh, by the way, I find many of you actually were in the meeting, including David West, Helga, yeah, others. So uh, I think you can uh, skip my uh, presentation. Okay, in summary, now this presentation is uh, based on the report to the governor's uh, meeting. However, it is uh, a little augmented, actually added with uh, more, a little more data, some data and information. Okay, 
As you can see here are a few topics I prepared. First, it is about the trajectory we traveled so far in terms of pain. Uh, after that, I will provide you with some uh, data and information on the activities, which focuses on the utilization of uh, the network and the capacity building for the NRANs. Uh, last but not least, I will feed you some information on the visib visibility actions. Okay, uh, without further ado, let's start with the network. Here's the topology obtained as of uh, October 2016, the starting point of uh, Asia Connect. At that time, Tens Backbone was composed of uh, 10 gigs. All of them were 10 gigs. And the access uh, links, I mean, uh, differed from 10 meg to uh, 10 gigs, quite a variety scene. Uh, here is the latest uh, as of uh, as of uh, February this year. We have uh, uh, 200 gigs uh, uh, as a part of the backbone. One is for the route uh, route between Asia and Europe procured in 2019 uh, by six parties, including KCC, and the other one is for the path between Hong Kong and Singapore. Uh, which is contributed actually by Japan, Hong Kong, and Singapore. We keep a uh, tangate between Hong Kong and Beijing, uh, as we did before, with half of the capacity uh, donated by China. Uh, uh, concerning access links, uh, uh, their capacities range from 100 gigs to uh, 10 meg. This slide uh, illustrates the changes of the past six years. Firstly, we welcomed three countries, Bhutan, uh, to be connected to Tain, uh, namely Bhutan, Myanmar, and Mongolia. However, unfortunately, very regrettably, we lost the connection to uh, Afghanistan uh, recently, as you might guess, well, uh, the reason. Uh, this and the next slide shows uh, shows and I mean, I mean we, we are going to look at the change of bandwidth from a different angle. Uh, we saw more than uh, eight times uh, increase in bandwidth in total over the last uh, six years. Okay, here. Uh, in the aspect of uh, beneficiary versus non-beneficiary, the latter uh, has shown much better performance. I presume the plummetal plumid of plunge of price, uh, in other words, I mean, uh, price erosion, uh, favored and pre provided a better, better opportunity for the affluent and rents since it transpired the price erosion transpired more dramatically in developed countries reasons due to even fierce, I mean, uh, telecommunication market competition. According to the telegeography, bandwidth prices on primary uh, global routes, uh, such as Hong Kong to Singapore will continue their downward trajectory even though the rate of decrease is slowed a little bit. I regard uh, this would be good news for the halves and for the uh, bad, bad news for the not halves. The implication of this to the Asia Connect project is actually that there is a high risk of uh, further widening the digital divide, uh, as well as a good opportunity, I regard for us to step in and address the gap. Okay, from now on, let's briefly look at the growth and change in traffic volumes and users in the network. Comparing traffic volumes uh, between last year and 2016, we saw about 131% uh, increase 
which exceeding which is exceeding the pre-pandemic highest levels by uh, 27 percent actually and uh, in terms of uh, CAGR it's about 15 percent around I guess it is quite a uh, encouraging uh, performance achievement and if we narrow down traffic volumes to the last two years we saw about a 26 percent increase in 2022 last year on the previous year uh, here you can watch it change from another aspect in terms of users and applications the information is captured from the link uh, between Asia and Europe I mean Singapore uh, and it shows who's using most of the link uh, comparing the years 2022 and 2017 as you may notice the scene has not changed much uh, based on the identities from the BZPAS numbers, uh, I regard that applications such as uh, higher energy, climate weather data still dominate the link. Okay. Uh, comparing applications for the last two years, uh, you can see again a very similar picture. They are like twins, actually. Here we go a little further. Uh, let's look at uh, several access links uh, more. Uh, this slide is for Korea's Korean's Hong Kong 100 gig link. You can see the link is uh, used mostly for collaboration, collaboration with China and Japan. And this is another link from Korea managed by Creonet. It's also 100 gig. It also mostly is used for collaboration with Japan and uh, China. However, we can find Thailand on the list. I presume it is about high energy collaboration. Uh, this link is for China's uh, 100, uh, 10 gig link. You can find also Japan, uh, Australia, Korea, uh, it includes Australia, Korea, India as well, and Hong Kong as uh, collaborators. Uh, this link is from Hong Kong to Japan 100 gig, a similar pattern as before is shown. Most collaborations are with China, Hong Kong, Korea, uh, Singapore. Okay, uh, this link is 100 gig from Singapore to Japan. Among other things, I mean, uh, it is interesting to see that uh, many BGP ASCs, ASCs are from the US actually. I presume this link is uh, used as a, also used as a transit to Asia. Okay, let's move on to the WP226 activity, which is basically uh, built on the call for proposal process. I uh, will uh, just uh, namely, uh, shortly call it a call. We uh, successfully uh, conducted six times of calls, calls so far, and we awarded uh, 95 proposals amounting almost approximately 11 a million euros. Uh, in the aspect of participants, more than 26,000 people so far attended uh, 340 uh, workshops and events. Events. Okay, take away uh, from this dramatic change in uh, recent years is that the COVID-19 pandemic, ironically, ironically, uh, gave a better opportunity by letting us harness uh, online tools such as Zoom as I'm taking advantage of it. I think this dramatic, uh, drastic maybe, uh, environmental change provides a lot of implications for the future direction of uh, Asia Connect. 
Oh, here is here is uh, uh, the classification by sector. Out of 95 uh, projects, the ICT sector dominated with the number 59. It was followed by environment, education, medicine, et cetera. Oh, uh, here is by keywords. As you may have guessed, the network was the most preferred, I mean, frequently frequently used terminology. And it is followed by security, female women empowerment, cloud computing. Only last year, we came to terms with, I mean, 20 contra contracts from the fifth call. At the end of the year, we extended, extended it to at the terms of 15 contracts for about three to six months. So by August this year, or reflecting the what, all out impacts of the lingering, lingering COVID-19 pandemic and the breakdown of the global supply chain, uh, which really caused a significant delay in procurement. Uh, we carried out a call last year in the name of targeted, it actually aspired, I mean, what, to address the specific needs of uh, uh, seven islands who scored tallied low in the maturity level. Okay, now it's time to talk about visibility. Okay, this is the last one. Okay, we kept several are tools for visibility actions. They include the websites, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. We had a national launch event spanning 10 countries for the over the last six years. This allowed the relevant stakeholders in each country to understand, understand, I hope so, the benefits of the Asia Connect project. Last year, we conducted two webinars, two times of webinars, uh, having participants of then uh, 50 per event, topics aligning with our Asia Connect project's objectives, uh, varied from medicine to environment, the environment. A newsletter for the first uh, of uh, first half of last year was released in uh, August the last year. Okay. Okay, here are 10 case studies were post, uh, written and posted on our websites. I hope you, uh, you visit our website and find them something of interest. And by the way, I would like to thank all the researchers who assisted in the effort. And we sponsored two uh, APAN uh, events and uh, TNC uh, 22 last year. Okay, uh, that's it. Dan Yabat, thank you very much. Jongi. Okay, thank you for the presentation. And uh, I suggest that uh, if you have any question, you can just send an email uh, to the country and uh, around the pressure. And uh, now, uh, uh, thank you, Edge. Okay. And uh, uh, I think I'll bring you through to close uh, the registration. Uh, and uh, the next session will start uh, at 1.30 uh, p.m., yeah, right? Uh, uh, the same room. And uh, thank you for attending and uh, please enjoy your lunch. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes, 
Hello, everyone. My name is Craig. Uh, I'm from uh, France. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, it's not really clear. I'm Frederic here from Trinidad, uh, France. Uh, I'm looking to match in the Trinidad, but I'm not going to be the uh, Match phase, as we are in the discussion of the general project, um, and uh, that phase that will interest you since uh, I attended my session this week, and I do not know that if, uh, what we are doing is really going to contribute to uh, your own objective. So, uh, the reason I'm going to say is to uh, explain my better how the result is uh, in my chef. Uh, what we have to do uh, during this uh, first of GM5 uh, uh, line project, which is simply the phase one of the GM5 of the GM project. A bit of work, a little simple work, uh, quick work with uh, to business management and share with you uh, our pre router, uh, what we call the benefit design, which are production issue case we plan to uh, implement uh, in the next few months. In my office, we uh, have all of our work in a representative environment. What we plan to, uh, to do is to, um, is to implement all of the feature in a global cosmetic that we call global before lab. Global lab. At the very beginning, it was called Géant before lab, but you don't understand why it is now the G stands for global. It's useless to have the best technology if we cannot provide visualization to uh, our network operators. So uh, we have uh, developed uh, since 2016 uh, a cloud-based network monitoring solution that is called Elmas that uh, you you can um, uh, discover uh, real quick uh, for this presentation. Again, I will end with. Uh, Community, community support, how you can help, how you can participate, and uh, and with a potential discussion if you want. So the, the presentation here will be to open our technical design. However, if for any reason you would like to engage the technical design, I will stay here. I will stay here till the Friday. Uh, physically and be able to answer all your questions, whether it is related to a uh, program, either P4, or the PDK, or a program. So, in a nutshell, Pluralta is a voting platform that is used to uh, implement network operating system. The particularity of that, uh, but the, the data plans have different forms. It can be, it can use two for data plane. It can be, it can use software data plane. But what is really important is that it's a platform that can instantiate various network operating system that can have multiple array module in the network. It can be in the network part, in the network edge, run in the appliance. We will see that. <coughs> We usually talk about something then news. News is the product and news is the kernel. And in this situation, half the water in the in the half the water project is a project. And still water is the often going with using in this in this project. What is really Important to note is that what I showed you is that you found one control plane that is able to highlight uh, different data plane. And in this slide, uh, we have three data plans one is DPDK, one is, uh, is for dark foot basic, so you know what basic, and the last one is for dark foot is using B and between the behavior line model from the from the P4 line, uh, project. The common approach is that is that you can be doing the green arrow corresponds to a specific unique API message research that can be very open that is spoken by the control plane. If you have one control plane that can find a different data plane. And if for any reason you want to have another data plane, another SIG, another ITU, 
Они говорят, что сахар, а вот он не пидит Арвиме, Джинти, спасибо. Снарад, и вы слайдите, а вот XDP это плен, а мы плен к ним Very interesting presentation related to uh, internet things. You can, for example, have your own infrastructure plane that has its own logic related to internet things, and we all have the standard plans in order to be to switch back. So this is really interesting in the sense that you are really independent in this technology. This is really much better. The only necessary thing is that your control plan needs to um, uh, to speak the green arrow, and that's it. You might say that it's kind of a difficult project, but don't worry, all of this is open source, and the research are for what you can do with the development yourself. So, for any reason, you have a control plan is good, that is good, for example, IoT. The IoT logic is not supplemented in Scarborough, and you can do it with your control plan. Here, I will present the key objective that we aim to achieve in the, for the next 24 months. The key objective is to create a user community and a developer community. The user community is the community that we use for software, that we in addition, we can use for water as a small office, home office. Uh, compared in a small office, home office context, we can use free hardware in the planet we can use free hardware in uh, internet exchange point. So this is the user community. For the developer community, I really invite you to come and join us and uh, develop with us. It's not just the science, or uh, switching packets. We are, we, are, we are doing switching packets since like, in the case, so it's not a concern to come with us and participate. We are free, we are free, we are free to do the person who is free to do the and work with us. This is the important thing. <laughs> Alongside this development community, we also plan to uh, do new development. If you are uh, if I'm managing a data center network, which you are aware of the RIFT protocol, the RIFT protocol is the biggest, greatest raft that aims to uh, be the IDP inside the data center environment. Essentially, it's a zero touch protocol, zero touch IDP that lets you uh, install your, your node as a speed, as a spine, or, and that's auto magic it works. You will see that uh, you will have the reference in the in the IoT in the IoT part. The good news is that we are already working with the new part. We have a check type that is a that is totally that is totally interoperable with Genus. The Genus version uh, I'm, I'm I'm mentioning will not be available to you simply because it's a research project with Genus. But the good news is that if you want to test in in in, in, in with free water, this is already there. This is already possible. One thing also to uh, to note is that um, you see you have different usage. When you are when you are using free water with GPDK, for example, or just for the water, it's like when you know expand with a limited amount of space. Or so you have a lot of space technologies around, etc., etc. When you're working with the, sorry, when you are working with the, let's say like uh, a thin term or a thin line, the extraordinary things that you can do that was not possible before was to be able to write a program with your own jig. But the packet will be switched at 12.10 terabits per second. This is fantastic. Imagine how you use a program that is work, that is able to work at this scale. This was not this was not possible before. 
So essentially what half the water can do for you. Why would you use this? Because you can hear spirit, but you can use all the other Cisco of Jupiter. There is a specific interest. It's really a Swiss Army knife, networking Swiss Army knife that is totally open source, but gives you control over the shell stack. You buy a commodity hardware at a specific price, low price, maybe, lower price, and you can use able to write code that process your packets. It's all logic. You can drive IG code, you can drive firewall, you can write a load balancer. This is really something that you can do with the actual water because the pipeline is not something that requires a lot of work in terms of uh, study. Um, when you process your packets, it's, it's not uh, different when you are on Cisco Juniper. The pipeline, the, uh, uh, the pipeline that process your packet in a different inch, following different uh, the RFC, is the same when you are running uh, on Cisco or Juniper. So, um, this is an example of uh, uh, this is a network in the western part of France, in which we are deploying uh, a room with three water. So, each of the um, doesn't have a lot of nice uh, nodes, you can just completely uh, go with the flower uh, and I look at the design and the configuration. The simple thing we are doing with, with this room is that. Our connectivity, we are going to configure the IP, IPv4 10, IPv6, obviously. And when ISIS has a DP, you need to And um, based on top of that, we have uh, implemented a source segment routing, so we send the lightning extension. So at the time, you have a coverage. You have an MCLS fabric because all of the traffic from each node is internal to this room is using MCLS and uh, segment, uh, segment routing uh, LSP. On top of that, although you are familiar with the current service provider network, we have deployed two root reflectors which are touching IVGP, and then this IVGP is going to signal all the the, 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 the service for the customer. For example, if you want to create a new VPN network, this network is really for that. You just have to copy paste and create your own CPE and uh, configure the VPN at the edge. This network has also, uh, also an internet exchange point. So, the most usually, you have to have a as a root server, but also create an internet exchange point in order to extend to, to exchange traffic. If you are not familiar with IXP concept, feel free to reach me after the session. You can discuss. If you are interested in knowing how to do that, just let me know. See, or see. Two, three. And I'm going to discuss about that. So, uh, yes, this is the fundamental piece of the puzzle on which you can create over having the new services like right on the snack, admission, control admission, BGP, BG, uh, BNG, small office, small office. You will see that. We have some people on the team in the afternoon who are developing 5G, UPF nodes, and also we are, we are welcome to express your idea. And uh, if there is something you see on the stack. So, um, after some discussion, I had some questions beforehand from uh, the, the audience. And I thought it was great to show you that this is not just a slide of this is real, this is real, I would say, uh, real and um, actual. This is my friend, the clock. That is a bit that has a one gigabit link and is running a GPDK for you all. So the, the essentially, I uh, have a house uh, in which we have different demands for, for internet, for IoT. Uh, I have some sensor uh, in front of my window, for example. I have a VM for server. But the most important thing is that this is something that is going to return at home and 24 by 7, and that is in family production. I have the worst 
customer who are my children. Each one of you, one time in the internet, making me see people that I cannot play by their own or I was about to show. This is the strange line to see for you because this router is able to to six to four gigabits per second of traffic. It has 32 ports, able to run at 100 minutes, which is fantastic, considering the price range. We can discuss about the price range on this case, the the session, but it's really, it's going to provide you a really good TCO. 32 ports at 100 gig. The best able to run all the services, MPLS, ISIS, OSPS, so you know everything. If you need more capacity, this box has eight by one eight hundred V, but it has also smaller bandwidth, um, smaller part of the layer, it's so a bandwidth like uh, for 50 part of 10 gig and 16 part of 10 gig. This one is a, is a beast. It's a two-field one combined by the two IRM card. Actually, uh, if you are interested uh, in people in this room in China, this is from Astra Fusion, uh, a Chinese company. We are working closely with them uh, in order to talk about it. And uh, we receive them two in the and we are in the process of, uh, of studying it and making it available for you if you buy the switch. In any case, uh, I was kind of saying when we went to film, size is like you don't find a line. You don't find a line, you don't have a big uh, trunk. You have a minimum number of uh, clothes and, uh, and you, you go very, very fast. In this case, it's, it's a family line. It's some, uh, some place on the beach where you can put more, uh, much more resources and good ones. We shall proceed to see what we can do with that. We can go next up uh, offline. So, uh, we have to talk about the life cycle management. For those who are familiar, we are using uh, the Mix Package Manager. Mix Package Manager is actually a package manager that helps you just to do one of the It's a package manager that lets you install some of that operating system in the sandbox. So, that's perfect because in our case, there in the Toshino uh, uh, context, which are uh, hard to attack and run. In a different flavor, as an HTTPS system, as a router, and PLS router, yeah. router, a direct router at the edge of the PLS core. So, uh, we have the concept of profile, and Linux Package Manager is, is, is the solution for us. It's really, um, we have a, we have a saying that we have a problem. It says that Linux Package Manager is the way, is the best way to run the package. As good is in order to handle the problem. So, this is a very, very good package manager. I strongly uh, advise you to, 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 to look at the delicacy. In terms of um, testing, what you have to know that when you download the crack, it is a crack that is uh, tested every day and that handles 2,400 tests. Uh, and uh, this is quite interesting because each time you download the code, you must be sure that you are running something that works in the point of view. Okay. Now, uh, if you want to test software in your laptop, you can recreate on a block or a clear launch on a screen. Uh, locally, you can use the user to work inside, or you can also use the other DNS3 or even GNU. Last week, we have a from the event who announced he deployed the software in order to do some training uh, in uh, South Africa uh, for uh, his colleague. He's interested in And the uh, issue I'm interested in which the integration because he has already the image, the EMG image for Cuba. In fact, with container hard, it's instantly which normally you should have an X86 back. So, uh, well, how can we test that, that in a representative environment? And in this case, we are testing everything on the P4Lab. This is a worldwide uh, each point here, each dot corresponds to a P4Switch, a much core that you have seen uh, previously. And uh, we are running, we are, we have used 500 of this uh, P4Lab 
Uh, uh, Jim Rosinger of Chicago P222. We have a memory uh, index. I'm not sure, I don't remember exactly the name, but if you're interested, we can, uh, we can uh, discuss about it. The good thing is that we have, thanks to Satisan, two weeks ago, we now have a node in Tokyo. It's a wage, a wage to be, which is a integrated into the global lab. And I would like to continue with our uh, video. This is a bag, sorry. Okay, so what about the monitoring? You have a very good system, everything is good, but if you don't have any monitoring, you are missing. You cannot do that. So, uh, in fact, we are using a cloud monitoring system based on Kubernetes. Really simple, plug and check and deploy your software and your images. So, in five minutes, you can have not time to now, you see what I'm you can create a non-file network management for your, uh, for the monitoring on your network. Uh, just as an example, you can already use uh, that system in order to create a copy for the program. And each one can be a network management suite dedicated to a research project, for example. Imagine the NFC1 project with a, a, a dedicated network management network. We can do that. We create a domain knowledge here. And we define the suite, the suite of tools that is necessary. If there is a tool that is not inside the catalog, just contact us and we can make it on the app for you. So, two takeaway. How is that there is an exciting topology that gives you freedom. It gives you the possibility to program everything from L to Z and have a full control of your packets. And mass is the best suit, in my opinion, provided visibility and the by bar that you switch packet as per your expectation. The global format here is, is very interesting in the sense that it helps you very far. But the program, the application you are programming is working in the world wide scale. Uh, the third of this is providing you, provide you a term to solution to do networking as fast as possible. Because what you plan to do is, uh, is to open it and to open it and orchestrate everything. Opex decreased dramatically, but Opex increased, obviously. But in my mind, increasing Opex is a good thing simply because even if your box you invest less, you can create more employment locally in order to have more support from people locally. So in the sense, OPEX gives you empower people, local people. And the good news is that I really think that in Asia, we have a tremendous amount of people that are to work with us gently with the end. And not actually. So, what is now important, I would like to convey a message here is that you really should not think about uh, if your question is bad, you just hesitate to reach us and get with us. I am inviting you to use this there to implement my skills. But more importantly, I am inviting you to develop through our values. We can help you, we can train you. And it's not, it's not black magic. I have the chance to work with a team of extraordinary people, very knowledgeable, that are eager to share their knowledge with you. So I'm pretty sure that in the, that in the Asia community, you have this. Uh, this will be called the reservoir of knowledge and then please just don't be afraid to join us. Thank you. Thank you. So the GR video for this one here. That's why I asked if you are joining the GR people out. And here, did I have a question? Okay. 
basically uh, my question is more related to uh, info technology. Uh, as you know that uh, people have now it's a long time, it's 10 years now for info technology, but uh, it goes to a big boost uh, after the uh, the uh, after the uh, acquiring by the internet. So uh, how do you look at the future of info technology? Uh, now the big, uh, after the uh, recent news we got for that. Kingdom has stopped its uh, switch networking party, which will be uh, stopping our switches. Okay, so, the, so thank you for this question because it's a very good question. The first thing you have to know that is that Intel announced the Philo Sun. The Philo Sun development is just to discontinue it. They did not announce that the Philo Sun is the Philo 2. Basic is discontinued. This is the first thing. But the mission with the tool, and um, we can discuss at night. The question is that there is no particular and the final thing are entering the metal to our research that we have to stay five years old. We have five years old. In five years, I really think that we will be selected for our training and work on the NPU. Uh, or I feel like uh, like a strategy of our And who knows, maybe from the help is that I own a ship somewhere in the lab, and it's not a new So I'm not afraid of that. And what can we do for people is a very specific language. A very specific language that is describing how to switch the packets that is entering your system. So this is before. But if you look at LPA, like LPA is the language of the thing, it does the same thing. So if you are using a host, C, the, the logic is the same. So all the work we are doing right now is that it's much more. I'm not answering your question. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, first of all, thanks for giving me this uh, wonderful opportunity to introduce our update of the planet and our different activities. But already, in the context of the service, we are already increased so much news about people. So I will just uh, ask it uh, several things. And that's a, I, I will explain why we are the focusing on the development of people. That's what I will add. Okay, just that. Uh, why would uh, Ireland or the Chinese is kind of something? Yes, just so you will you know about in you know, every something in the science discovery, like the rivals and kids, uh, just for our kids, and touching the other that's right too. Yes, and now that we're also focusing on the optical uh, comparison of intercontinental optical data to uh, a computer training for the redefine the time, the what we do for the, our scientists. And it's just um, I will give you a bit of our uh, all networks 
will be uh, updated and established in the end of the June. Uh, in the next screen, I'll uh, test the first time to run in the uh, 600 kilometers for our optical on our optical fields. We have the, I mean, the battery of the right side, we have the new limited battery uh, links to cover the all our domestic areas. But uh, for the UNI, for the user interface, we are provided the from the thank you to the 400 from our routers. There is no difference. And uh, yes, we also try to do a little bit of a network automation with the data service circuit for it. That will now be focusing on the function on the sort of the uh, little tool and the little thing on one of the same templates uh, over there. The answer. That is um, what we do. Yes, a little bit more about the internet. Yes, uh, it's a member of the internet. Uh, yes, our community group in the world right here, when people uh, just the in this map, uh, we are trying to explore the our community out from the Asia, across Europe, and uh, North America. Yes, finally, we are done. We are thanks for all our members for the area. Uh, we will add the uh, one master refugee from uh, Singapore to the Amsterdam. That we, yeah, but the circuit could not make the locality in the area. We can change some of the things uh, in terms of the uh, information or network technologies. Yes, this is a whole wide one. You know, the only two are in the at the end of time. Uh, so all circuits are already in view. So uh, that's the means uh, in Sato and Scarlo and uh this work in Sato the loudest uh in the there from the T schools from the of the N size uh, model. Yes, if the whole our equipment is not off in the end of the yes, how do you know about uh China? Uh but I am remember that. Uh, you know, all you know, not the same number of the uh, you know, uh, 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 for the, our, uh, our researchers to build up the education for all scientists. Already, it's kind of a concession and concession something larger and it's kind of a more scientists, more than the students. But this is a good source. Yes, this is our new initiative in the year. Uh, previously, so far, we don't have to take a space in Italia to come um, uh, other energy come to the region in Korea. We need to find out some particular space. So uh, this is why we do, you know, from inspect, uh, in this our history, uh, we come in the um, the uh, the old different uh, in the right the clouds and the in the adverse networks. Uh, to that, we want to use up our own issue to just start the link solution. This is a community. Uh, as current and the other there more than a couple of the one we need. And also the, our uh, commercial crowd from the uh, commercial uh, public crowd, like the NHN and the very networks uh, connected our networks. Also, just another thing is that in this month, we are starting to have our network to cover all our community. That network also started to collect our data sheet to uh, issue the data from um, Oh. Yes, we you know about the yes, LHOPM. We are just also a member of the uh, uh, T1. Now the connection is uh, as only 2 g 2 uh, g That will be according to the 2 point uh, touch level of the community that will be updated uh, with our international networks. Yeah, I'll skip this one. 
Yeah, and so let our uh, is a couple. It's a you know, it doesn't go back to the IP declaration subjects. It will be clear. I can see you, uh, like I said, with that copy for next to the old uh, mission research lab of the university. It has full IP to the room uh, there, our uh, uh, federation service. Already the Chisting, the name of service in Chisting, right? The ambulance and the cloud that was so important to provide the best federation. Yes, this is a little bit new one. Uh, it's just to have a, you know, the machine shock news and the network and data. So how do you provide the whole interviews as uh, interviews the service to our users? So the reason is uh, why you do a, a this kind of activities. We also study to the develop the network and computing uh, uh, in the first grade we are to do uh, based on our current uh, technology, like the um, yeah, it's a virtual dedication ritual. It is a kind of technology service. Uh, on the back, we can in fact the uh, into the uh, it's called like the computing services and safety and uh, to have this kind of like that's a tool for something with the own the uh this uh this way. Yep, yeah, we. Yes, in this system, the uh, copy, create a language, and the claim of the sign language, uh, also the, uh, the good thing is that using the hubbers, we can store the, each, the images for each size domain, and check the username to offer the uh, unity to for, uh, make your own research environment. So, so uh, second one is, uh, from there, already the change uh, already developed the CM, the project in the course, using the CM framework. Uh, this is uh, our main practice. And finally, you also the uh, making the same regions and creating system for all uh, this kind of system. Yeah, this is a payment in that payment is a screen of the our system uh, in the one part. Uh, the storages and network resources and company uses already the, the regions. Uh, this is a uh, set storage and the some uh, companies are everywhere that are listed on. And we are sitting with uh, some IP to communicate each other over the our VDN. That is uh, our, uh, yeah, this kind of the uh, already Kubernetes that was included under the list of work. That's yes, another one is uh, we also provided the uh, AI teams for our uh, AI scientists. Uh, one of the frameworks, uh, just in order to fight speech and the sum of the AI tools that the US provided. That's all. Yes, uh, people are doing this. We did a very mention of our yes. We also remember the uh, provide our creativities and we also did procedures on them. If I'm just the people who have connected our background uh, to us with uh, now it's a connected with a type of Europe, but we have uh, some other connection with uh, Asia and Europe. Uh, that is uh, it's already the other point is a uh, uh, mention about the uh, MMAS. Then uh, hopefully we can also use the MMAS to control the, our own particular uh, mode. Uh, we also have a little bit of research. We also have a little bit of the IoT system. We can find the tweet and the last of the tweets, like the tweets, and the internal of the tweets, and the tweets. And all the way using the web letters, we have our own databases and the video or something. That frame of we will end of this year, maybe we can open the all our the uh, uh, status of the uh, development. So uh, this is the, the only that is the only state. Yes, I still get some activities. We also uh some uh making some system for uh, a control shield that you uh this is uh, our move on three my slide on the website, you can check it. Uh, this is a. Uh, uh, I want to explain that this the project. 
uh, the network is uh, independent. How many times is it in the beginning? You may be very bad at every end of the data uh, channels. But we also did uh, another list of transport sample uh, tree to synchronize to and this thread is uh, uh, to contribute to the uh, to find the uh, plot uh, uh, time. You uh, encode it. We are we are now the first uh, the optical plot. A simple level between the optical plot and our standard imaging and so on. And it's the electrical station, telescope station. Each telescope has the great ones. Uh, and I don't know if it's a cute thing to So using the just whole the uh, telescope, we were uh, originally the some source and we indeed we can compare the uh, two Optical plot, one is located in Asia, in the Korea, and the other one is located in Italy. That is uh, our uh, new project we just studied. It's a rock run. Uh, I'll try to maybe everybody you know about it. Uh, it's uh, all kind of making some blueprints and make some playground work together uh, with the old research network. Uh, this is a uh, the over the layers over the whole things. Uh, I want I don't uh, say the whole each items so we can see in the in the bottom layer the so transport layer was uh, all of the other transactions like in the uh, and internal was seen. And over the layer we also wanted to uh, define the uh, GSP architectures and over the layers you can see that all the same what it was here. If you are interested in the film, or TV, please check the community uh, as a member, and you can see that there is every activity on the community website. Yeah, the meeting is that you have to just have a file for this member over here. And it's for the community nomination committee, like the uh, Alex Van Bush and Chil Arts over here. So we are at a new community for the training in Alex Moore. Or uh, if it's not opportunity to share that our experience to others, I have to ask you. So, okay. Yeah, that's all. It's all my own things. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your thing. Yeah. Are there any questions? No? Be, uh, okay, yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. 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 So the next will be the uh, FNJP upgrades from the uh, Yamaha and me. So, let's start. Hello, everyone. I'm Jenna from FNJP Network. Today, I am Sadosa. would like to talk to you about FNJP updates here. This is the uh, Content of stress limitation. The first topic is the current situation of the APNGP data. Actually, the spectrum is not only used for Japan, but also used for the communications such as from Singapore to America. And we have uh, the main task of the APNGP is to JJ and Japan Hong Kong link and Hong Kong Singapore. And we have four backup back tasks. The priority from high tier is respected. The first is NII to plan Singapore class. The second is the pass of Arena Park and Grand Singapore Consortium Bank. The third is the pass of Arena Park and Arnett Bank. And the last is Colony. And we have visited include the resilience of APN. It has better with the addition of better things now. Thank you all for your cooperation. And since there was some cable update occurred this year, I'd like to introduce about the traffic return your impact. And 
uh, Chijuan Hong Kong Singapore being done since January and uh, 28. And the uh, NIH plan Singapore being uh, the highest priority backup pass was also under disruption at that time. So the travel to, the, to Singapore was rebooted via Arena Park and Grand Singapore Consortium links. And in addition, JJ and Japan Hong Kong Link also had a sharp outage on the same day. So the traffic to Hong Kong also rebooted via Grand Singapore and Foreign Link. And the latency to Hong Kong changed from 55 milliseconds to 195 uh, five milliseconds. And on, on the next day, when JJ and Japan Singapore Link was restored, the traffic back to Singapore passed. Yeah. And JJ uh, and Japan Hong Kong being outage occurred again on uh, February 3rd. So travel to Hong Kong also changed to Singapore and Korean links. And, uh, and then uh, NIH Japan uh, Singapore link had a maintenance in February and the traffic changed to ground the maintenance and back up to Singapore link after the maintenance till now. Uh, although many failure have occurred, the traffic has no stopping uh, because of backup has strength again. And moving on to the next topic, GXP Tokyo. So there are no big changes uh, to the current GXP Tokyo configuration, just added ASNet connection. And the peer between JJ and SNAT has three TBX operated by Wide Four and Wide Ended TBX on December last year. So this peer is migrated to GXP Tokyo this year. And next topic is Papsona. And as you know, APNJP has the Papsona node and also has test points for through to latency and those at Tokyo. And we also first into leverage APA and GXP. And for the GXP net dash update, hardware video forced us to migrate controller from KVM to VM where had arrived last year, December. And we started, uh, we start with a uh, Pacific with wallet measurement since, uh, this year. And uh, NetDash is mostly back to normal now. And we are, buy, uh, we, we are buying cards to build 100 of the Pops on node also. Uh, the new server arrived on uh, March 14th, and it is scheduled to be built in this or next month. Okay, so see some master of the operation in my team's studio. But from that, yeah, you're going to get the work from the open part. So they are fast, they are before language. And the people, as you know, is your uh, programming protocol independent market processors, and it makes the data plan programmable. So they decoupling the data plan, the control plan, and also data plan has a bit of changes, or the data plan uh, has been helping on to the hardware cell. But they have with the people that it provides the ability to share some of the control them. And so there are several implementation maintenance credits that the famous one is a PMP2 and also the Filipino or etc. So uh, we think the, uh, this technology can be used to test new ideas on switch and routers as a well concept. So the uh, I'm the one. Who is joining the uh, people testimates? So the uh, giant is undergoing under, under effort, effort to the uh, data line by uh, for routing so uh, the solution can be uh, can be fit um, on RD and then the use case here yeah, where it's because I pronounce it's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, where is a uh, free router, which is a uh, free and open source router on the J system and the other control graph. So the they just they, they deploy the distribute distributed people up as a giant platform folks as well as overseas with the thing for the RG. So the uh well, the same as the last update. 
the uh, the new thing that the uh, we work we work on, and so it gives is the uh, sunny to one hundred points, and I say we work on on the discipline twenty six and the arrival on the double eight, so the uh, delay is quite fast for us, and the uh, I still the in the work on the designing so the speed to the switch on the other way sixteen, so the uh, uh down one to be the one. Uh, of the, uh, the switch that we bought and the uh, 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 switch is actually uh, GXP project. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite a mess. Sorry. And the, uh, we started, I started in the rare uh, real down switch. Actually, uh, I started uh, the Google document, the document fast. And then I came across several difficulties actually installing it. So the, uh, what I did was from the experience we are in there. Uh, on the delivery on the uh, February thing, it was it's like last month. So, the uh, actually, the uh, not of some days <laughs> in, the, in, in the same days, so I got a response from the delivery and the uh, the there was uh, new documents here. And so, I have a, I have a video conference on the uh, February 27th, so the uh, it's all set up. So the uh, and also yeah in within the same week so the uh, we can I can hear the management on the uh, and the yeah, it is trying to be managed by the gen people up so that's how I can part of the gen people up you know uh you know just people go to people fix so the uh, the inflation process was actually just straightforward so the uh, there was still the, the uh, uh, concept board and also the uh, ESN port. So, the uh, what I did was in the uh, kind of the ESN port, uh, is the DCP. So, the uh, you have uh, productivity. So, it's it. So, and the in the uh, the uh, switch via console and that's a good also the here. So, the, you can use it if you buy one. And the uh, whole as the relic mentions on the installation page. So, the, it's quite quick, it's like one page. And just another point, point commands and the uh, on the uh, only knows. And the uh, actually the when you install the only install installer uh, install, uh, it is updated. So the uh, update is required. Uh, but the uh, upgrade progress is quite straightforward. Just typing a TNA install latest. And then uh, the final the uh, is. It's uh, it did, it's a software, it's a free router, and then I go into the free router again. And the uh, with the help of the uh, red free, so the, uh, we have we have how to uh bring the interface up. So, uh, the uh, so the database and the uh, the database it's it's uh, divided. so it's divided. So, the, uh, we need to configure the, the database and then configure the uh, control plane aspects. So what I did was, uh, what we did was, is the uh, uh, checking here on the data plane size, we get the memory of the ID, and the computers uh, on the free data side. And so they are the first side. Uh, and they are attached to the first interface on the uh, template plane size, and the interface came up. So it is now connected to the uh, GFC program. So the uh, feature plan on the P4C in FNJP is the, uh, it becomes the part of the GNP board tested it, but it is actually not connected to the right here via Amazon code. So the, uh, uh, we try to connect to the GNP elsewhere, like going to Singapore or somewhere else. And the, uh, another thing is to try to bring up more interface and integrate it with the GXP code. And the uh, first throughput once we get so one hundred gig that we have that we will have on the parcel server. So that is one thing. And another thing is the uh, DTN deployment. So you know, so I think you know you all know that the DTN is the debug and the uh, over is in the DTN. So the IoT plan. Okay. So the uh, uh, so FNJP actually the uh, this is it's like uh, two years two weeks. Uh, Two weeks job. So yeah, I set up the virtual machine with the uh you know, the, it's kind of old server. So yeah, the 
it's just a testing, so there is not so much the uh, uh, I spec or something like that, but the uh, I stated it's the installation process. So, yeah, I installed that we want to do any dot and the uh, mega account on the Polybus account and install the Polybus account. So, the, uh, there is an uh, installation guide and which is different and which part of the general project, but yeah, we can install that. Okay, and uh, well, this time, let's see, uh, I, found out, okay, I have to contact the sign mode to test this. Yeah, but, yeah uh, there is a uh, phrase and the ID configuration to be needed. And then I got the uh, 1.2 gigabit throughput and on the, uh, you know, we So that's, uh, so uh, mostly the limitation was the CPU box. So the uh, transfer was made on the single port. But uh, I think I need a tuning for that. As for so the uh, next step for the DTN in function piece, so the, uh, uh, say that we want to join the DMC to support the DTN at KDDS slash to my JP. So the, uh, actually, we are under internal discussion on the boundary styling for the DTN that we will be doing. And the, uh, also, uh, as I said, uh, I stated earlier that we need tunings. And once, you know, I'm considering to get a faster CPU. And the, uh, actually, the 100 TV needs I like yesterday. So that I want to get a phone, the, uh, no phone. Maybe uh, the office is like home to me. So the uh, life was get the uh, photo that we would try, I would try with the uh, one gig. So the young. Right, finally, a summary of today's presentation. We talked about backup paths for the Avenger that were works real in recent years. And this photo added a connection to ASNet in January this year, and the 100 personal node is scheduled to be built in this or next month's actual job. And we prefer a people age plus uh, wage next to GX Plotter, and uh, it is already part of GMP for tax bed. And we studied, uh, studied, studied on D, uh, DTN and uh, successfully connected to single -way DTN. And we need to have better server and we also enjoy uh, things uh, as a part of DMC. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, Master. Can you make a question? I'm going to say to the people rather than GM people now. Which one is correct today? The GMS terms are global simply because we are distributed around the world and the GMS terms are global. When we started in 2019, we had a new sound of money in Amsterdam, Frankfurt, Budapest, and Poznan. When we started in October 2019, we really were not in jail from thinking, but we really reached. So much uh, positive we have feedback from the research and education community. And up to now, we are we, are, we have reached uh, some people first zero and that's area. And we hope to uh, reach now, especially in Asia, so that we can uh run our administration experiment, develop other things that can be implemented in Europe, in Asia. So that is from me and the margin. So the uh, first presentation will be the uh, NICT space 
then I showed the uh, other demonstrations on the C22. Uh, and first, uh, we, uh, I would like to introduce uh, the recent updates of NLCG's integrated test plan. Um, and I should just about to uh, start with JGN and uh, um, the JGN is a network that operated by an ICT. Um, it started in 1999. JGN has international circuits and domestic circuits. Um, the circuits you talk and the pointer and Singapore is 100 GBPS. The circuits through uh, circuits. Uh, between Singapore and Bangkok, the one year of EPS time frame. And uh, the general domestic at this point was from uh, 10 to uh, 100 kilobits. And GGM supports uh, a language network experiments uh, such as high speed application, for example, and, and, and rest uh, HK video transmission and other science applications. Uh, we also work with uh, an IR in Sala to exchange and make that each of in Japan. Of course, GCN has created and observing connections all over the world in conjunction with other partners such as Ethernet. And uh, the interconnection is like this. And uh, the other component of the start, uh, the cluster is the stabbit. Uh, stabbit is a cluster of uh, large size sample of uh, issues or huge scale applications. It is a kind of uh, area as a size. And users can use computers or by Stabbit. Uh, Stabbit and uh, uh, users can install their own operating system and software and use them. Uh, Stabbit supports real time network generation. Uh, then, using such environments, uh, using users can perform experiments, assuming their own network environment. Uh, and the uh, standard is separated from the internet, so users can perform experiments with LRS. For example, uh, users can verify the behavior of malware or viruses in isolated environments. Uh, in addition to GGN and Starbit, uh, we learned uh, beyond the RG IoT test bed with uh, high reliability and high elasticity from October 2022. And the value of this test bed is accelerating research and development and social demonstration to realize beyond the RG uh, through the collaboration and diverse players. Uh, using the test of it. Um, this test of it is constructed from three parts, which are the black layer of the and the middle layer data, and the uh, platform layer. The network layer uh, is uh, uh, the, the top layer, the network layer is uh, the top layer of the test of it, otherwise, 
engineer by using the software-based network technology. Uh, it provides a with FG virtual background network infrastructure to the bank. Um, it also provides a verification environment for mobile system and mobile applications. And the uh, middleware layer uh, and the platform layer are new subjects for functional expression of various specifics. The middleware layer and the platform layer are is uh, a new platform. Uh, the so middleware layer, we call it SADA. Uh, it provides the environment for system development and applications. Uh, using the uh, combinations of simulation and the uh, combinations and uh, uh, the developing the entire systems uh, so we can um, test the and the device uh, at the entire system uh, before uh, developing uh, the components of the systems. And the platform layer, uh, we call it uh, data center by service, uh, ECCS. It provides the uh, environment for developing services, developing uh, services or in 5G era uh, that utilizes uh, and analyzes various data in the B5G network and uh, utilizes it. Uh, well, uh, and it also uh, provides a sound. Uh, AI technologies to uh, analyze uh, uh, such patterns data and really extracts the data. And the VCCS and Shadow are implemented on a startup and can be used by remote. By the JCM. Facilities of the B5G mobile environments are located in Tokyo and uh, at external universities in Osaka and Kyushu uh, for the collaborations uh, between the research institute and the uh, local universities. And then uh, we introduce uh, uh, demonstrations on SC32. Um, in SC32, uh, we constructed uh, six 100 gigabit spaces uh, between Dallas and Tokyo. All as a Pacific Ocean and the United States uh, in conjunction with our program, uh, partners, such as ACOMIX. And the users of our festival performed experiments uh, such as um, the 400 kbps plus one experiments with using this network. Uh, here, we um, show the uh, demonstrations uh, on um, NICT books. Um, the, um, the, the, this is the next step. That, yeah. And uh, the sixth of the 29 of the research demonstrations and uh, experiments on SC22 are available on our books. We introduce uh, some of these uh, demonstrations. And the first one is by IPA in Japan. Uh, in this demonstration, uh, they conducted only two and four hundred gigabits transmission between DAS and Tokyo by aggregating uh, six or one hundred gigabits passes. And they uh, succeeded for long term uh, state of four hundred gigabits transmissions using and uh, PCs, software builders, and the commonly used in Japan. But uh, such, such PCs are uh, simply are commonly 
嘅表示，咁即係誒誒特殊啲，即係要自己實表示誒誒，即係自己實自己表示，實實誒，即係誒，係自己表示出嚟。咁即係誒，就 next one is by another one is Jeff of Technology Analysis， 誒，即係咁嘅。Uh, real time editing and distribution of um, uncompressed uh, eight day videos. Uh, in this experiment, an uh, uncompressed eight day video uh, screen was classified from Japan to the C42 video and um, shown. Uh, the um, video was processed or uh, edited in real time by joint. Maybe perhaps uh, it's a budget video, uh, and it is uh, it and uh, it was edited and uh, uh, processed in the edge system in Japan before being shown at the painting. It was uh, uh, it is edited uh, and uh, transferred to United States and uh, shown in Japan. Uh, these are uh, photos of the uh, demonstrations, and they show the uh, transfer transfer video uh, on the uh, HK displays. Uh, the next uh, experiment is uh, our MRCD. Here, uh, we conducted a performance test of network testing equipment. Or time to the first of this uh, presentation. Uh, we test the uh, 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 this using one and three bits passes between Tokyo and Dallas. In this test, uh, we set uh, the software. Uh, software levels uh, on Dallas and Tokyo, and we measure the performance of passes between them. As a result, we could measure the performance uh, of 100 kilobps passes like this. But the latency was not uh, measured correctly, so we are waiting for the final statistics. And uh, um, next is also by NICT. Uh, in this experiment, uh, we conducted a hemorrhage regulation of hemorrhage migration between Paris and Tokyo. Uh, here we assess uh, uh, first uh, the we assess the hemorrhage uh, uh, virtual machine on Tokyo, and we migrate it to the uh, Dallas. And then again, uh, we performed uh, the measurements on performance of the migrations. And the uh, size of uh, the migrations was 35 gigabytes. Uh, the results are right. Uh, in this experiment, uh, we found that the migration performance depends on the throughput of the PCP purpose. And uh, it is difficult to give the throughput of PCP with the adaptive adaptive server latencies. So we have to think about the mass improvement like uh, experiments by IPM. Great. So then uh, the next one we will explain the exact environment of the uh, SC22. Thank you. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Fernando Nasi from uh, JG and Lock. And uh, for me, I'd like to explain the details uh, from, uh, from network of uh, engineering and uh, There were six experiments, and each experiments are different to the family, which means to be supported. Uh, for example, uh, the industry we are using QMP and the industry of technology we are using MarkStrap and Adria and the and the ship we need 400 QMPs. Next, 
uh, I will introduce the network property of Binance and this table shows the Binance we use the users. Uh, and uh, no, uh, and the US shows that uh, the six bus between Japan and the US and uh, the old uh, department. Uh, uh, we uh, we will uh, six uh, round of developments uh, because uh, uh, much number of each uh, uh, path uh, is eighteen in the BTS. And finally, the traffic was divided into five paths. And the last six paths is the four back paths. And then it was a 45 million set up in this path. We tried to use some channel of programs by using M2LS. However, M2LS is just incompatible. And at the end, in a CT, it was a high pass for the experiment. So we used plan to do that for idea in my city and kite. Uh, next, uh, this is a lesson run through this uh, experience. Uh, for the 19th many buildings were so high and took long time. Uh, it was really should communicate uh, with partners by email and confirm their building numbers and confirm uh, setting status. And um, so, um, um, uh, this time uh, we spent more than two months constructing uh, the demonstration environment. And uh, it was hard because of the short preparation, which is uh, COVID 19. Uh, so, we really appreciate your uh, uh, preparation. And then, uh, there are two ideas for the improvement. Around that, uh, it's a network design which is pure appearance. So we should study and introduce overall solutions such as segment blocking. Uh, second is that explore uh, to explore ways uh, to reduce workload of building coordination with multiple partners. So for achieving it, uh, we should uh, participate and discuss and community activities uh, such as GNG and uh, advancement workload. And uh, also, we should follow the progress of the data sense and other tools. Finally, uh, NSCT and our partners are already split of the collaboration award from uh, SGINET for the spirit of cooperation and collaborations. Thank you so much. Uh, and this is a summary of our presentation. Uh, NSCT, uh, uh, we enjoy this initiative from when we have them 5GRT test based services and our demonstration on the C22. Thank you. That's all. Okay, thank you. And the time is taking out. So the Nagano uh, sign and the Kodai will be here for a while. So yeah, let's go to that. Let's go to that. So the next. Uh, Presentation from the Simon from the Singlein that the uh, updates from the Singlein and I will change. Okay, all right. Hi everyone, I'm, I'm Simon Green from the Singlein. And I've just been giving a brief update on what's been on um, on our open exchange. So, and also some of the events that are happening in 2023. So, for this, I'll be giving um, an update on the topology since our last update in April 23, what our topology looks like now, and what's happening in 2023 um, in the future in 2023 as well. Um, some brief updates on the international MOU, such as the Asia Europe Ring, or AER for sure. Um, the Asia Pacific Oceanic Network and APODM. So, from the last, um, at last APN 33, we recently set up a new hop in called SOE2, and that's an Econix SD3. Um, and from then, we had only one 100 gig um, to Guam, and we had two 10 gig to our local institutions and a 10 gig to Huawei uh, entity. Um, as of APN 55, there's been uh, num a numerous um, connections that have come in. 
um, 100 gig to our National Supercomputing Center in Singapore uh, for additional redundancy. Um, another gig to the SDIX, the Singapore Internet Exchange. Um, and now we have an additional 100 gig to KISTI and KISTI to um, KISTI at Singapore, KISTI to Korea, and KISTI to the uh, Netherlands. And our request was um, only, a, I think, a couple of months ago. Um, and then also one more 10 gig to a unit and to the Emory DNS. So I want to thank Ajio Kakasan for the help on this. And also for the upcoming in 2023, and actually maybe about a month or two time, um, we'll be having a 100 gig from CSCNet in Hong Kong, connecting into SOE1 at Global Switch, and another um, connection, 100 gig connection from Jeans from Marseille to SOE2. Um, and then on the commercial side, we have another 10 gig to our Google at SGPN uh, for a redundancy box. So, following from this, I'll be just going over the AER, which was the, which is the Asia Asia thing. Um, and this was launched in 2019 at AN 48. Um, so, this is the ring consisting of a number of links the CA1 consortium, which is the one from the UK to Singapore, um, with the Giant Surfnet. Uh, so, Multinet, Arnet, uh, Singer, and Maintain, so that's easy. Um, the other one is Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan, with NICT and Singer in, and then the Singapore, Japan, Japan, Netherlands, by NII. And then here, this is just a picture of the signing from Aven 48 with Sean. And in, at Aven 53, the AI was expanded to include um, Kaust and Harnet. So I was helped to provide the two times 100 gig uh, between Singapore to Saudi Arabia and another two times 100 gig between Saudi Arabia to Amsterdam. And Anna came in with over the Singapore Japan. Uh, I think this was now we have a 400 gig business taken between uh, Asia and Europe. And now, as of a couple of days ago, um, at the opening ceremony at Event 55, Kisti is the next member, bringing in three new connections, um, one from Singapore to Netherlands, Singapore to uh, Daejeon and Korea, and Daejeon to Hong Kong. So this is uh, now 500 gigabits per second over the Asia and Europe side. So I'll just give you a brief example of how Singer is using this for our own resiliency. So here, Singaran peers with a giant, um, and we use our primary peering is over the CA1 link. Following from that, if anything goes wrong with CA1, it will be backed up over the Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan to Amsterdam site. And then following from that, we have such an um, as a tertiary backup between stack house. So now I'll be just going over the APO net, which is the Asia Pacific Ocean Network. And this was launched in 2021 with the following partners of Arnet, Arena Pack, Internet2, NICT, KISTI, Pacific Wave, Orians, Synet, Singer, and Transbuck, and University of Hawaii. So this, and since then, there's been additional um, a member from Arnet taking part of the Singapore, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Japan part, and also two new links from Synet, which is the, uh, sing, uh, sorry, the Tokyo to Guam, and the additional 100 gig between Tokyo and LA. So I'll be giving a quick example of how Singon is actually using these parts to for our path resiliency between our Singapore Open Exchange 1 and the switch at Singapore and Singapore Open Exchange at US in LA. So we've actually set up a, we use this, um, our main back of our, I mean, sorry, our main path is actually through the Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan, and to the US of our Singer and NSCC link, Bahanet, uh, NICT, and Singer and. And following up from that, we've also set up a number of paths going through Guam, so Guam, University of Hawaii, and to um, LA. So uh, not only is that, uh, so that is actually the backup on the L3 side of things, but we also have a backup um, on L2 side, thanks to JGN, JGN and Synet. Uh, so I'll be just be, be giving a brief example of this. So they have a backup, they're at their backbone between Singapore and Japan. And this has been actually shared with my, uh, with Zama-san um, just now. So 
here, if you have the final parts of Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan, with the backup between Singapore and Japan, third, with the um, Singapore Consortium, Sinex, and Arena Bank. And then following up on that, we have the Arnex going down Arnex Guam to, um, to Tokyo. And I believe I also missed out on the current path to Hong Kong as well. Um, so if there is a breakage on the Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan, it will be automatically flipped over to the Sinex path. Following up on that, the Guam Singapore Consortium, and following up on that to Arnex. And this has happened. Um, Quite recently, where we actually had to use the RNA path. And so, following on from that, are we giving? So, this is um, with the API net, we were able to help uh, generate the pass with the SC22 and ICT demos. And we'd like to thank everyone involved in this for those quite a lot of work. <laughs> um, following on from that, there's also, I can't forget the main uh, chain map to the Asia Connect, where all of the other entities or communities within the Asia region are connected uh, internationally. Um, and following up on that, I'll also be giving a brief update on the events that are happening in 2023. So the ones that you might have been uh, hearing over the past few days is the Data Movement Challenge, our DMs 23. And it's a competition hosted by the National Security Center every two years. And it's for teams to showcase their solutions at transferring large amounts of data um, on the global research and education network using 100 gigabit per second TTNs. And the challenge will be focusing on optimizing point to point data transfers, and it will be a crucial step in uh, boarding uh, advanced research collaborations between our international communities. So, what's quite exciting this year is that we, we have extended DMC to um, Latin America, and also um, there will be a uh, test, uh, test use case with Starlink. So these are our DMC T22 network partners that you can see here. And we also have our DTN partners who will be providing the service for the actual test itself. So, um, and this is the DMC map. So we can see the Starlink and Japan for DDI. And we sent you um, DDI for providing us with uh, Starlink uh, for, this, for this DMC. And also RMP and lights and with uh, for the um, willingness to join us for the, on the Latin America site. Uh, following up on this, these are just the important dates. If people are interested in joining for the DMC, um, there'll be a submission period opening on the second of April until the 14th of June. And then we'll have the DMC competition running from July to August, uh, sorry, August to October. And then the awards will be. Uh, at SC24 in Australia. Brief summary. Um, so on the international connectivity side, so the AI and APNet creates a like-minded community for providing significant redundancy to allow for partners to back up hands when needed. And it also gives the network operators ability to rely on backbones due to agreements in place to prevent loss of connectivity to connect developers. And also on the data movement challenge, uh, would be basically challenging teams to efficiently transfer large data sets between uh, DTM nodes on the global lines. Thank you, Simon. It was super fast. I think it would be a good quite short. So, the final one is going to be a conversation from Simon. to have a sort but we have already occupied old insert. That's why I'm not supposed to reject my proposal. Please, uh, you know, consider to make a proposal if it is announced. And the next network engineering workshop will be organized. We do organize that with OCCD, sorry. Well, uh, they're the, 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 the,
Thank you very much. And please consider the service of proposal. Thank you for all the today. Discussion, the information. Thank you for the speakers.